And welcome to Tenerife, Spain. This is the Basketball Champions League round of 16 game, the game of the week between Lenovo Tenerife and Cerne Bilbao. Find the focus. Okay? Remember, we play for Mirivilla, for us, for Mirivilla, and today also for the people of the Turkish and Syrians. Okay? Come on, come on. Vamos, vamos. Vamos, vamos. Well, the scenes of the players getting off the buses and heading to the locker rooms uh, for both teams and uh, Tenerife and Bilbao getting ready to face each other for the second time this season. They played in uh, the Spanish Liga Endesa earlier this season. That game was won by Lenovo Tenerife. And this is a huge game, especially for Bilbao, who come into this already with one loss, although they do have a win. So a win would put them in, in pretty strong or pretty good position. Lenovo Tenerife, obviously 2-0, and are flying high. And you can see also Dar Shafika and Ukam Murthia, their game has been postponed, as have all the games involving Turkish teams uh, because of the tragedy, because of the earthquake. Uh, which has struck uh, the Gaziantep area and uh, everybody's hearts goes out to those uh, affected obviously uh, much bigger issues uh, than basketball in that sense so we hope that you bear those uh, events in mind tonight as we do bring you some basketball and hopefully uh, uh, I know that uh, the coach of Bilbao, you could hear him talking about how win this one uh, for, for those in Turkey tonight. Lenovo Tenerife again 2-0. Murthia, uh, whose game has been postponed. Bilbao, both a 1-1. And Arshafika, last 0-2. Uh, so that is the standings. And remember, Tenerife, the defending champs. And really, at this stage, uh, uh, they look formidable. Definitely one of the coach, teams to follow. You're Here's not going to through the coach. best times of the season right now. You've been dealing through injuries. You won't have your full roster tonight. Can you tell us more about that and about the challenges that you'll have to overcome tonight? Yeah, well, be before before talk about the basketball or, or the overwork, first of all is show that our support that the, the, the people that are affected in for the um, for, for this in Turkish and Syria and well we have a big challenge it's a big team and we know that it's not it's not our, our, our best moment but also we we want to give our hundred percent we know that the competition is very important every every game and every possession and we know it's our compromise is for the play every possession you're playing tonight without Luda Akinson, one of your main creators. What are the key for you to find an offensive balance? Uh, we, uh, we, without uh, Lude, uh, we lose it a very important focus of the our play. And for this, but we need that the sumo other players. But especially, though, not crazy for the find the, the players. The, it's very important that the focus, strictness, and in defense, always give our 100%. 
You're talking about defense, you're playing a strong team of Tenerife who plays very well here. How does it work when you play a team like that, that is so deep, so talented when it comes to, you know, making defensive choices? First of all, for play against the, the great defense of the competition, is try to play with a, also a great defense. Uh, if from the defense comp compete uh, for the fine, our best fields, and, uh, and obviously we have to play dynamical because if they can defense uh, sure, if we are stopped our offense, they, they defense better. Thank you very much. Good luck. So, Jeff Withy, Adam Smith, Nikola Radicevic, Denzel Anderson, Alex Reyes, Unai Barandaya, Francis Alonso, Augustin Ubal, Emir Sulimanovic, and all the way down, no, Ludi Hawkinson, the Sweden international, the point guard, the man that kind of drives uh, the, the, Coach, the car this for this team. Week now, for choose Vitoretta for Tenerife. Which starts tonight with a key game for the BCL quarterfinals. How do you approach it? Of course, it's a very important game. Uh, we have in front of us a very good team. And we need to defend, we need to play hard in rebound, and we need to play in confidence as we usually do here at home in this important competition. You're talking about defense. This is the first thing you mentioned. Everyone has been praising your offense, and rightly so, but how important is your defense going to be tonight against a Bilbao team that has been struggling lately on the offensive end? Well, from the defense, you can win even with bad percentages, okay? If you have good percentages, you have no problems usually, okay? Then for us, it's very important in this moment of the season to, to, to make a good job in defense because when, when we make this good job in defense, we have more opportunities to win. Thank you. Have a good one. Choose Vitoretta with 74 wins, the most in basketball Champions League history at the helm of Tenerife. And he's got Jaime Fernandez, Sergio, Sergio Rodriguez, Bruno Fittipaldo, Marcelino Huertas, Sasu Salin, and uh, again, Georgia, Georgi, or Georgi uh, Sharmadini, Aaron Dornikamp, all the way down, and Jaume. Uh, Porcino knows uh, he's up against it tonight. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Tenerife twice have won this competition. They played in the final also. They won the FIBA Intercontinental Cup. Uh, they'll be hosting the FIBA Intercontinental Cup uh, this weekend. Their focus is on this game. Uh, but anytime you can also get a trophy, which uh, this team has done a lot in recent times, uh, that will be uh, a big talking point after this game. And I think fortunately for Tenerife, they come into this game with two wins. Uh, they won't be distracted by the Intercontinental Cup, but certainly they will have one eye on that competition, I think, coming into this game. But you know what? Uh, you don't want to disrupt the rhythm. If you're winning and you're playing well, you want to continue to play well and come out and get the win tonight. So really the onus, the onus is on this team tonight uh, to continue uh, to come out and produce. Uh, don't be distracted. Just take care of business, uh, and then you got a few days uh, before the start of the FIBA Intercontinental Cup, and that will be big, big news. Uh, as Basketball Champions League representatives, obviously, uh, they will be uh, the favorites also as the host here in La Ambarguesa, and those two guys know each other very well, and uh, have a lot in common. They've been in this uh, in this game a long time, and everybody that has watched uh, the basketball Champions League certainly knows Chus Vitoretta and uh, his credibility really is uh, unquestioned. Paulo Marcus uh, from Portugal, Boris Krejic from Slovenia there on the left, and uh, got to silence uh, on the right. And we were going to look at. Yorgi Sharmadini and Withy here. And, well, I suppose if you're Withy, you look forward to a challenge uh, like going up against the Georgia International Center. It's uh, not one that any opponent can take lightly. And uh, both of those guys, hugely important uh, to what their teams try to do uh, to be successful. And, uh, with the, I think, probably a lot, a lot of pressure on him tonight. He doesn't have Hawkinson. Uh, but it does have Adam Smith and, of course, Mikhail Kaiser, who has uh, been a staple in the Basketball Champions League in recent seasons. 
played in the Final Four last year with Halon. So it's going to be with the Adam Smith, Nikola Radicevic, Amir Sulemanovic, who played for uh, this Tenerife team the, the past couple of years, and Javi Rabaseda in the starting lineup for Bill Bow. So Jaume Porcenal, the head coach. And again, wanted to have some words of support offered to the, the victims of the earthquake and everybody is connected to that situation in Turkey and Syria uh, in his pregame remarks. He wanted to get that out uh, first and foremost. So for Lenovo Tenerife tonight, Marcelino Huerta, Sasu Salin, Georgi Shamradini, Elgin Cook, and Aaron Dornekamp. And again, Chus Vitoretta, who just keeps on keeping on, keeps ticking along to take a, a one-year hiatus to go to Valencia Basket, actually where uh, Jaume Porcenal also uh, coached uh, before he went to Bilbao. Uh, so they do have a lot in common. Of course, Marcelino with 407 assists and the most of any player in the competition. And look at that, the combined amount for Bilbao players, 370. Of course, Tenerife have been in the Basketball Champions League more times than Bilbao, uh, but they have been on a roll at home as well. Going back to last season, you can see Tenerife, this is not a place uh, where opponents come expecting to get a win. Last seven games, uh, when they've given up uh, less than 80 points, they're 7-0, and last six games conceding 80-plus, 0-6, so the key is uh, clearly to put the clamps on Tenerife, which is easier said than done. You saw that that little number about Kaiser, one of the two players who scored more than 10 field goals against Tenerife in a basketball Champions League, making 11 shots back in March 2021 when he was playing for Vet Fariga. And also Levi Randolph with Avellino in 2016 uh, pulled off that feat. So some players just match up well against opponents. Kaiser also in that same game had seven rebounds and tied for most by any player against Tenerife in the competition. So there is Sharon Medini. And while we have a moment, uh, make sure you check out the power rankings on the Champions League.basketball website. Read about the FIBA Intercontinental Cup. Uh, again, which is happening this weekend in Tenerife. And we're now going to have uh, a moment of silence here before the game to honor uh, the victims and all those affected by the, the horrible, horrible situation, the, 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 the earthquake uh, that has struck in Turkey and Syria. A lot of these players have friends that compete in Turkey. Some of them have played there, obviously, uh, for opposing teams. They've also competed there professionally. So uh, this type of event hits home for everybody in, involved in uh, European competition. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Tenerife here in the Canary Islands. And La Ambergesa is rocking and rolling once again as Tenerife uh, throw down the gauntlet to the rest of the competition. And Elgin Cook comes out and misses with his first shot from the corner. Remember, Tenerife winning the Basketball Champions League in year one and also winning it last year in year six. And this competition keeps getting better and better. Tenerife always in the reckoning. And the profile of this club just keeps going sky high. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Here is uh, the play. And well, how about the old Tenerife player, Emir Sulemajevic, getting inside. He played last year, celebrated that title win. That was, that was one 
in Bilbao in fact. So now he plays in Bilbao and that's exactly the start that Bilbao needed. Dornicamp gets a down low to Sharon Medini. Sharon Medini going to have a big month in her Continental Cup. Obviously the basketball Champions League game tonight. Be playing for Georgia as they try to qualify for the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Marcelino Huertas as well. Here is the drive and uh, the denial, Rabaseta trying to get inside and uh, putting it up. Good job by Withy Well to keep it alive and knock it out. But Tenerife come up with the basketball. There's Marcelino. Oh. Missing the shot, Adam Smith quickly rebounds and runs. Tries to beat Tenerife down the floor. And Sulemanovic not afraid, puts it up, and the Bosnia and Herzegovina forward misses with that little jump hook. Now the pass down low to Sharon Medini and he misses the dunk. Could have been a little bit too far underneath to try that dunk. Maybe need to go with his left hand. And the reach in and almost a turnover, but they maintain possession. Shot from the wing. Oh, they're getting some good looks so far, Bill Bow. Here's Marcelino. Thumps it down low, Sharon Medini. Turns, puts it up, and again, another shot he would ordinarily make. Sharon missing. Adichevich gets it down low, and Withy banks it in. Marcelino and look like he you know he, he will go in and wait to the last second to pass or shoot and that time he waited a little bit too long and what a response driving in and scoring Radicevic. So Bilbao quickly out to a 6-2 lead and kind of a stuttering start here for Tenerife at home. Sasu Salim pulls up and the Susayengi Gunslinger, the all time three point shooter in the Basketball Champions League, uh, gets a two. Bounce pass down low. And I don't know if that was a kick. They're going to reset the shot clock. So Marcelino goes out, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure that Adam Smith was really uh, accommodating, wanting to hear the technique coaching from his coach about how to turn after he made the pass. Here is again Bilbao looking to stretch the lead, and great defense from Fittipaldo. They get the basketball. Oh, they, they're going to count. No, they're going to say it was after the shot clock. And Bruno Fittipaldo, and again, it just illustrates one of the strengths of this Tenerife team to have a high quality point guard coming off the bench, a Uruguay international. Of course, he'll get to go up against another Uruguay international tonight, perhaps, Augustin Ubal. Here's Sasu Stalin. Big minutes needed tonight by that man right there with Hawkins Hawkinson out. Oh, nice spin and misses the shot, but there for the putback is Withy. 
So, you know, Lude is probably watching back in Bilbao and hoping his team can get a what would be a stunning victory on the road tonight in the game of the week. Fittipaldo steps up and buries the three pointer. Adam Smith drives, misses. And now the foul called on Redicevic. So Cook and uh, the ball batted out. It'll stay this in. Franguera's in the game now. Uh, Anderson is checked in also for Bilbao. And Sasu Salim now misses an easy one. And uh, Lenovo Tenerife leading the competition and missed shots close to the basket tonight. And using the bank, sweet little jumper there from Rabaseda. Don't forget, this is a guy that has played at the highest level. Remember the World Cup winning squad, FIBA Basketball World Cup winning squad of Spain back in 2019. So played with Burgos. There is a drive down low, and, or the dump down low, rather, and Cook scores. Ramaseda, count it. Well, when he was coming up, he was about as highly touted as they could be. And Ramaseda tonight, who knows, he might go off for a big number tonight. There's Dornicamp, the Canada International fouls, or gets it to Sasu Salin, and Adam Smith fouls the Finland national team captain. And with that, Salim is going to go out. So, Rabaseda, number 22. We've seen Ubal in the game now as well. And he's got his hands on the ball. Whistle blows and a foul. Alex Reyes also in the game, number eight for Bilbao. And you got to give something if you're in there. Reyes can certainly provide some offense if he gets hot. Blue ball, I think clearly uh, can contribute tonight with Lude out. There's the dump down low. And how about the big bad Frank Gara going up? Hanging on the rim. And Jean Sastre in the game and pulling the strings. There's Kaiser. Picks up the dribble. Here's Ubal. And the charge, or an offensive foul, rather. It's the game of the week, folks. And Bill Bow, Sergeant Bill Bow, leading it by two points. So Kaiser handed it off, and then he kind of uh, stepped into in front of Jaime Fernandez. <laughs> get a, tell the fans to get up, enjoy the dunk. Here's Fittipaldo. Guerra working hard down low. And Fittipaldo drives in. Kaiser, the high riser, gets in and hands it off to Ubal, 
who really is a gifted player. Let's let's just cut him loose and see what he can do tonight. I've seen him do it for Uruguay. He puts it up from deep and right on cue, misses the shot, but they get it back. Now the fake and the jump shot from Reyes is no good. And the Sweden international Anderson gets it now. Again, they attack and the drive and the follow and the dog from Michael Kaiser. You guessed it, the high riser. And with that, the timeout called by Tenerife. Well, you give a team two or three chances, and was that a shot or a pass? That was a pass. Goodness gracious. It was recorded as a layup. A layup. <laughs> Con el 3 no hay que jugar. Coño, marcas 51, vete para que salga Jaime. Me da igual el lado que vayas, pero que salga Jaime aquí. Con Jaime podemos jugar todo lo que queramos. Tienen Alonso y Pequeño. Con el 3 tienen grande. Hagamos lo que hagamos, cambia. Los bloqueos entre pequeños, 1-2. Luego, cortes uno, cortes dos, cortes blue, cuatro, la otra. Y más el juego normal para el dos, no para el tres. That's a pass. Give him the assist, take away the missed shot. Got to boost those stats. And driving, coming right out of the timeout. And the basket was good by Jaime Fernandez. So again, Bilbao playing without Lude Hawkinson tonight and trying to make it count here on the road. And a foul on Dorney Camp, I believe. So Alonzo missing the three, but Bilbao doing a good job of getting some second and third chances. For, in fact, it was on Sastre, and now they turn it over. So again, Tenerife can pull level or take the lead. Fernandez, who played such an integral part of Spain's title win, title winning run rather at the Phoebe Year basket last summer, has the ball. He puts it up and it's short. Now Ubal, silky smooth pass. Kaiser, Alonso, always looking to pass, gets it down low to Kaiser. Oh, Kaiser is fouled as he goes up. He'll get a couple of free throws. And he is wishing he had made that shot. He'd like to be going to the line for an and one. So Gavin picks up the first, his first foul, and Kaiser makes the free throw. came in shooting 83.3% from the free throw line, and that was evident with those attempts. So Guerra goes out, Shermadini comes back in. And Bilbao with a four-point lead here late in the first quarter, the final seconds ticking off the clock. Here's Tenerife, Fernandez. Gets it to Shermadini, and Anderson does a good job nudging him out, and the three-point shot is good, though, from Fittipaldo. And that just illustrates how good this Tenerife team is. You get it to Shermadini, and he then spots Fittipaldo out on the wing, and he buries the three-pointer. So at the end of one, it's Cernigo Bow leading it 17 to 16 over Lenovo Tenerife.
Here's a look back at the first quarter highlights. And as we do take a glimpse at those, I'll just run through some of the scoring. Six points for Fittipaldo coming off the bench tonight. Leads Tenerife, who are two of five from deep. And Bilbao have been led by what I'm say is five points, while both Kaiser and Withy have four. Now, what's interesting is uh, Babao absolutely drilling Tenerife on the boards 14 to 5, yet only having a one point lead. Six of their 14 rebounds coming on the offensive glass. They do have six second chance points. And so, this part of that is reflected. And there's no doubt the bench play is always crucial for Tenerife. They've got 10 points coming off the bench compared to four for Bilbao. And Tenerife have yet to lead in this game. Could be, could be a matter of time of when rather than if. And again, look at the numbers. Just one three for Bilbao. Six of 13 inside the yard. Perfect at the line with the two. Second quarter action is underway. Radicic back in the game. Bounce pass, beautiful play to Anderson. Oh, goodness gracious. The Swede elevates and throws it down. And you got to love it. Take it strong to the rim. Nice little runner from Fittipaldo, who's basically saying, Marcelino, you sit down tonight. I'm going to take over and provide the theatrics. Looks like he's kind of uh, almost adopted some of Marcelino's play out there with the little runner. Withy, Radicevic, Anderson, Reyes, and Alonzo out on the court. And Alonzo missing with the jump shot. And Tenerife can take the lead. Fittipaldo, Huertas, Marcelino Huertas, Sastre, Shermadini, and Tim Abramitis now in the game. He's in the right corner. you got to keep an eye on him. And Fittipaldo once again. And welcome to the Bruno Fittipaldo Hour, folks. He is absolutely sensational tonight. 11 points. Perfect from deep. And in some ways, it's a, a pick your poison type of thing for, for this team. And this time, Anderson again goes strong. Or no, sorry, it was Withy going strong to the basket. He is fouled by Shermadini. He looks at the ref as if to say, all ball, ref, all ball. Yeah, that was a pretty good attempt by Shermadini. Uh, but with the, I suppose, being rewarded for his attacking play, Tenerife with a two point lead, and with he misses the free throw. He makes the second. So with Fittipaldo out of the game, uh, you've got Saline back in. There's no shortage of shooters in this Tenerife team. Marcelino, the bounce pass, well read by Redichev. She leads the break three on two. All behind the back pass, put it on the highlight reel. No, great block from Abramitis. Sharon Medini goes up and he is fouled. Reyes saying Sharon Medini was clearing out. Let's have another look. No, there's no clearing out there. That's a good job by the refs. Had a Chavis, excellent work. He's looked good tonight. He got quickly in the transition. 
He made the behind the back pass and Anderson just wasn't able to finish. Rabaceda comes back into the game. Reyes, his second foul, he goes out. And Shermadini at the free throw line where he spends a lot of time. He misses the first. Both he, Marcelino, Dorna Camp, and Saline all in their fourth season at Tenerife. And, well, a lot of selling points to come play in Tenerife, and that continuity, you know it helps them. Not to mention all the, the savvy that they bring with all of that experience that they have in the game, both with their clubs and their national teams. And the pass batted out. Good active defense by Abramidis, who's making an impact tonight on this end of the floor. In fact, that was Sharon Bedini that's got his hands on it. Anderson to Wit to Radicevic now with the on the baseline. And it's at this end where Bilbao really have to be good. It's exactly what their coach said pregame. We have to be we have to be tough defensively tonight. Salindo gets free, misses. A strong rebound. Rabaceda. Chavitz pulls up and the miss. Sastre with the rebound. Marcelino says, don't forget about me. Uh, just a remarkable player. Marcelino plays some in the NBA as well. Clearly, he's touched, touched all the bases. Good pass to get it out to Anderson now. And Anderson missing, but a good job getting the basketball back with the offensive rebound with him. And then passes it back outside to Smith. Could be time for him to heat up. Steps back. It's a long two if it drops. It doesn't, but Anderson again bats it away. And the foul called and really good hustling minutes from Anderson. And Radicevic as well. Good drive. Alonzo out to Rabaceda, missing it. And Tenerife with their biggest lead of the game now and looking to stretch it. Marcelino is starting to hoop and scoop, and the foul has been called. So Adam Smith reaches in and picks up the foul. Entry pass and the mistake by Bilbao giving away the layup, the dunk on the inbounds play. You can't let that happen. And Shermadini's slam takes it up to a six point lead. Timeout has been called by Bilbao. Here it is again. And everybody's trying to chase their man, make sure nobody gets an open look. And Withy not able to stay with Shermadini.
Well, that was a dunk by Anderson. And of course, we saw a lot of Fittipaldo providing points. And this was Marcelino getting in on the act, as well as Sean McGinney. this competition overall and you think about the teams and might be able to win Ike who knows they pulled off another uh, huge comeback win tonight at home against Limoges trailed by 20 points came back and won that game we've seen that act before from Ike this season so it's almost like you fall behind by a big number against Ike and you know you're in trouble that's when they come back and get you so the foul called on Sasu Salim from the elbow. Look at the extra effort there. And Rabaseda gets down low and just Bill Bow just not catching in on some of these second chances. And Tenerife very close to start lowering the boom here. Abramitis. Fittipaldo. Shermadini. And bumped. Uh, Sulemanovic gives away quite a bit of height there guarding Shermadini. Yeah, he's kind of leaning into him a little bit. You know, it's, if he just maintains his position, but his momentum kind of carries him into him. So you might not like it, but I mean, that's kind of, I'm guessing where the referee is, what they're seeing. They're seeing him moving forward. Feet not really set. Fittipaldo bounce pass, Shermadini over to the corner. And again, Dornicamp gets it back and gets it down low. And the basket for Shermadini. Goes up goal school that time. And the lead now eight points. And another chance for Tenerife, who are really lowering the boom here. They've outscored Bilbao 12 to 3 in this second quarter. Oh, beautiful pass. And Sheridini fouls with him. And that is exactly what you want if you're with him. You're going on trying to dunk the basketball. The pass. Well, there's there's some body, definitely. And it just depends how much you let him play out there. But again, he got a lot of ball. They might not call that one on the playground, but they're going to call that one there. And Franguera comes back in, so that's a positive development, I would think, for Bilbao, although we've seen Fred Gabbard come out and really wreak havoc against opponents. He also was in that team that won the title last year. And with he doesn't get it to go, but look at that, the hustle, and good job by Sulemanovic. Certainly when you're leading the team, they need you. And 
because they're going to be calling the other one on Sharon Medini at the other end. Of course, you got a couple of opportunities to call a foul on Adam Smith on that. So five point difference. Under four minutes remaining in the first half of the game of the week. Fernandez drives in, bounce pass to Guerra. And Guerra travels. Alonzo and Kaiser back in the game. There's Kaiser. Smith back to Kaiser. Kaiser in the paint and good job Dornerkamp tying him up. Kaiser trying to sneak his way through there, trying to knife his way past Dornerkamp, who is uh, too alert. Dornerkamp in that all-star five of the Tenerife team that won it in year one. And as the ball comes back in for Smith, Dornerkamp went to Valencia Basket when Chus Fiorello accepted a move to get a coach at Valencia and then ended up staying longer than Fiorello, who just went to Valencia for one year before coming back to Tenerife, but eventually you knew Dorna Camp would, would come back. So Dorna Camp, a member of both of the title winning teams and an important member of that for Tenerife. Fernandez over to Cook, spins, and good job. Camp getting it and then getting tied up, and now the ball goes out of bounds with 2.2 seconds on the shot clock. So Rabaseda doing a good job. Here's the drive, and Alonzo missing. Here's a drive, and the ball goes out of bounds. Two free throws coming for Guerra. You can say everything going according to plan right now for this Tenerife team. Although Bobao hanging around. Robert say to the Kaiser, you got to pass it. Somebody's open. Lonzo drives and the ball goes, excuse me, it was goes out of bounds. Trying to get the Sudamanovic. You see the double team come, you know somebody's got to be open. Pavel know exactly what's coming, but just not able to finish it. Good drive and the block from behind by Rabaseda. The ball quickly gets it back. It's time to go to work for Augustine Ubal. And then great defense offered by Marcelino Huertas. And Marcelino thinking that he'd force a turnover there. Uh, so they called the foul, in fact. So Marcelino Huertas. And Ubal 
And it's just some of the little things right now that this Bilbao team needs to do, like make free throws. And again, that was a good defense. You gotta make these free throws if they're gonna have a chance. The ball makes one of two. Smith has it back in the game. And the foul called. I think Bubba will be pleased if they can just kind of cut into this deficit. It was uh, yeah, definitely a good call on Dorney Camp. Contact on Adam Smith. Has the same name as the famous economist. Wealth of Nations, of course. He's been very economical tonight with his uh, shooting, but I would expect him to start letting it fly in the second in the second half. Meanwhile, this guy, Radicevic, has been terrific. Nikola Radicevic, he comes back in the game for the final minute and a half. Fernandez fouled by Augustin Ubal. So Jaime Fernandez goes to the stripe and makes the first. Now you got to be reminded that Augustine Ubal is still only 19 years of age, but even so, he's he's been in Europe now for a while, and you want to see him start to turn it up a notch, if possible. If you're a Bilbao fan, you're hoping that it's going to start to really click for him. Of it's just team trailing by five. Kaiser. And just good effort from Augustine Ubal. And I think Dornicamp is surprised Tenrife have not gotten the basketball there, but here it is again. Look at this. The ball might have knocked it out. Oh, the lob. Oh, are you kidding me? You cannot make it up. That was that was a lob and it went in. And excuse me, three-pointer from Augustine Ubal. Rewind it. We got to see that again. Here comes Jaime Fernandez. And right drive. It looked like almost a deflection there. And he still got it to drop. Final 33 seconds. Hopefully, you can see that on the uh, Basketball Champions League social media. It looked to me like it was a, a lob pass or an alley oop pass, and it went in for Ubal. Try it again. Throw the alley oop pass again. Here he is, driving in. Maybe that's going to get him on track. He turns. He misses off the back of the cup. So the final shot probably will go to Lenovo Tenerife. Fernandez. Looks for a little space. They get over to Cook. And Sulemanovic knocks it away. And that is how the first half finishes. So Bilbao hanging tough. Lenovo, Lenovo Tenerife leading it 33 to 29 at the break. Just three threes for Tenerife. Two more makes inside the arc. The free throw line has helped Bilbao stay in it. They're 7 of 10. Look at the rebounding advantage. 11 of their 23 boards for Bilbao coming on the offensive glass. Fittipaldo has the game high 11 points for Tenerife. Here's Emir Sulemanovic.
Emir, you, you're down four at halftime. Your coach said before the game he wanted you to give 100% and that's what you're doing right now. Yeah, we had a few bad weeks uh, behind us. So we like we have to, if we want to get back on our good rhythm, we need to start from the beginning. Like we knew that Tenerife is a very good team, especially at home. They are BCL champions, so we need to play very hard against them if we want to have chances to win here. You know them very well. What are you going to tell your teammates at halftime to try to beat them in the second half? Stay tough? Now we need to just continue playing, believing that we can win, uh, controlling the rebound and play hard. Thank you. Bruno, you expected a tough game. It is a tough game, but you're up four at halftime. Yes, of course. We know what kind of team they are. They are playing good defense. Uh, with a lot, of, a lot of intensity, so we had to adjust for the second half. You needed that spark of the bench that you brought with your uh, shooting. How much confidence are you playing with right now? Yeah, we need uh, 12 players every game. It's a long season. We have many games and we need for, for everybody. So uh, I'm trying to help every time I'm in the court. So uh, I will try to help in the second half. Thank you very much. So after the uh, excellent interviewing, I have to say by Chloe, we go back and look at the highlights from the first half, and there are many. And I think if you'd asked Bill Bow if they would have settled uh, for this score before the game, they might have said, well, yeah, why not? I mean, you know, just like Sulemanovic says, hey, listen, we're coming out, we're rebounding, we're doing some good things, just not finishing off some of our opportunities. And if we continue to, continue to play like this, we're going to have a chance. But uh, you just always feel when it comes to Tenerife that someone or maybe even two players are just going to get it going. And that someone in the first half, in the early going especially, was Fittipaldo, who was not just scoring, he was pulling all the strings. And it just makes it so difficult for other teams because it is a case of picking your poison and then he comes out and, and really gets you and then they just have such good movement uh, and their and their offense it's just so tough to contain but Bill Bow done a great job I mean they have uh, been opportunistic tonight getting some second chances some third chances they're playing hard as, as you would expect, obviously, because this is a crucial round of 16 group game, especially for them. So uh, they'll be hoping that uh, the Tenerife shooters do not catch fire. I'm not sure that that won't happen, because uh, usually when you see a Tenerife come out and struggle in the first half, or maybe not make as much of an impact from deep, uh, they do come out in the second and find their range. Uh, but this is a Bilbao team uh, that came here tonight looking focused, concentrated, and sometimes you just have to give something away and uh, sometimes it's difficult to, to stick with a player like Fittipaldo and also Marcelino. They are just dancing around out on the court, just making it look so easy. And that veteran savvy really comes to the fore and really comes to the fore rather uh, with also uh, the big fella right there, Sharon Medini. And I can't wait to see uh, the U-ball three-pointer late in the first half to see if indeed it was a pass. It sure looked like it was to me. Here is, that's it. That was a pass. Crazy. Look at that. Just go ahead and put it. I want to see it on Twitter, Instagram, and every other social media channel, please, as quickly as possible. Look at that. Withy. Six points. Leading the way for Bilbao. Two of four from the line. Five points also for Rabaceda. Uh, but it's Withy who gets the offensive rebound and put back on that one. Six. And 
he is uh, giving Tenerife a great chance here tonight at home uh, just a, a few days before the FIFA Intercontinental Cup uh, and their battle against the U.S. Monastir in the semifinals. So we are at halftime. It's 33-29. It's Lenovo Tenerife on top of Cerne Bobao in the Santiago Martin Arena, a.k.a. La Ambergesa and Tenerife. And we'll be right back. Pointer this time from uh, Thomas Lacunas and Robinson at the other end. Pocket picked by Jalen Hines. Easy basket. Oh, what do you say? Easy basket. What a dunk. Riding the storm. Find that goal getting a handoff guarded by Trice. Goal down the middle. Goal. Oh, baby. E. Akshamlar. Oh, Teshekula. Flush, Chili, and he's fouled as well. This is to win it. This is to bring it to Lithuania next week. Big shot. Big, big shot. Jaden Riley is in a massive three with 7.3 seconds to go. Very careless pass. Oh, beautiful, beautiful basketball! The dome is behind the back! Trying to break the zone defense down, the full court pressure. Well, there's a deception, and Gola all the way! Akshamlar! Good night, Kashyaka! That is for you! Razzle Dazzle, step back, three, doesn't get it! Strasbourg, would have been a time left, they don't want to foul! Here we go, lands down, in Gonya, the match for Strasbourg! DeAndre! Lansdowne, are you serious? 1.6 seconds left. Down by two. Well, we gotta get the ball inbound. There's a cross court. Dalton can win the game. Well, that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, Strasbourg have won the game. And again, look at Horvat, reaches in, anticipates, behind the back pass, showtime! Goodness me, McDuffie! Gregor Horvat has taken the game over! Gets a switch on defense. Got to get it. Step back. Takes it. Oh, baby! Are you kidding me? Limoges! Bonne nuit! Good night! Bryce Jones! Mr. Jones! Merci beaucoup! 
Allez les manches, as they would say back in France. Coach, you said before the game that it would be a big challenge. So far, you you up to the challenge. What did you like about that first half, and what do you need to continue doing in the second? Yeah, keep playing solid, solid in defense. Uh, we, I think we're fighting the, for the rebound. Uh, and the, our offensively in offense is, is not good, but it's normal. We we know that it's the moment that do not, not play with a great offensively, but our offensively in defense is good. We, we have to improve some details and control, for example, Fittipaldo, that the situation, they are unbelievable players of the, when they play pick and roll, but, but even we want to keep, keep working for the game. Thank you, good luck for the second half. Coach, you mentioned before the game defense, rebound as well. I guess this is something you're not happy about. What else did you tell your players in the locker room? They are doing a very good job in, in defense. Uh, we tied their job in the, during the, the second quarter. They only scored 12 points and three were unusual. Okay, But uh, now the key is the defensive rebound and also the offense rebound. Okay, We only took two. They, 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 they won 11 then. It's a big difference. We only we only take uh, 14 rebounds. They 23. If, if we need to play with other feeling, we need to improve this. Thank you very much. Good luck for the second half. <laughs> he was going to make that comment and turn and walk away, and he did. And uh, his points were well made. But let's go back. Very interestingly, and this was brought up in the power rankings uh, as well by Igor Cherkovich on the Champions League Basketball website. Uh, when you look at Bilbao, they've won their last seven basketball Champions League games uh, when they've conceded 80 or fewer points, uh, but have lost their last six games when they've conceded more than 80 points. Uh, so, you know, you look at this one and they've done the job defensively on Tenerife. Now, Tenerife probably have missed some shots they should have made, uh, but at the end of the day, and you know, they can turn it up a notch as well offensively. Uh, but so far, even though Bilbao kind of slipped a little bit in that in that second quarter, they kind of stabilized things and have given themselves a chance here uh, going into the second half. And I'm sure that Tenerife know they need to come out strong if they're going to get a win. The first offer is not for us, then we need to defend, and after you decide, but we don't, but we must buscar alguna quick, right? Venga, vamos, vamos, vamos. Folks, all basketball Champions League games available on Courtside 1891. Uh, so go to courtside1891.basketball. Uh, just sign up and you can watch all the games and uh, satisfy your appetite uh, for European basketball. It's a great platform. You can also go and watch all of the World Cup qualifiers that are going to be played this month on Courtside 1891. Of course, we all know who, uh, what the relevance is to 1891. James Naismith, anyone? So, Bilbao starting the second half, trailing and coming out and getting a basket here late in the shot clock. Withy picks it up, 
And trims the deficit to two points. And that was a little bit of a collision there with Saline and Smith. And, S and Saline looks over at the ref and says, what, what, what's going on there? There's a little bit of contact. And then Saline looks over at Smith and says, what was that? Well, just two guys running into each other. Withy Smith, Radicevic, Reyes, and Sulemanovic on the court for Bilbao. Here's Smith. Back to Sulemanovic. He can hit that shot. Does not, but again, the offensive rebound, the effort. Look at the extra effort, and again, the extra effort from behind. Sulemanovic knocking it away from his good buddy, Sasu Salim. Bilbao can tie it or take the lead. If this drops, it, they'll take the lead, and it does not drop, but another offensive rebound, and Rabaceda count it. Oh, excuse me, that's not Rabaceda, that's Reyes nailing the three pointer. Apologies. And again, Rabaceda coming off the bench here in the second half and give a team two or second or third looks and they are going to punish you. And Bill Bow did that time. And the way they've started this second half, it bodes well. So Reyes with that clenched fist looks over at Cayman, averaging 6.1 points per game, shooting at about 37.5% from deep. He hit 15 of 40. Here he is again. He's feeling it. And again, Sulemanovic knocking it over to Adam Smith and another second opportunity. And they are just dominating uh, this Tenerife team right now on the offensive glass. I don't know if you'd say they've exposed a weakness, but they have certainly come out and uh, been able to do very well in that department tonight. And the rejection from Withy. Get it out of here to Fittipaldo. Actually, that's what you call a flick rejection. Just get it out of here. Don't even think about it. Just one of the many good shooters. Gets open. And offensive foul. Called on Bilbao. Throwing the forearm. So I guess it's on Radicevic. Yep, excellent call. Great defense, just unnecessary from Radicevic. And again, Abramite is just, you're just spoiled <laughs> if you're Tenerife. You got so many players uh, that you can call on or any number of players that can step out there and start to get hot. Salim's only attempted five shots tonight. He's one of five, so here's Abramidas. Bounce pass. Look at that. Team basketball wins every time. Beautiful. Putting on a passing clinic. And Sherman Edie goes to nine points. I mean, everything about that you loved, including the bounce pass at the end. Radicevic. Over to Withy. Where are you throwing it, Withy? Oh, you're getting it inside to Sulemanovic, and he's surrounded, and he goes up, and he's fouled. I thought he was throwing it to the worst possible place. Uh, but they want to get it to their big Bosnia Herzegovina. Uh, yeah, because he was matched up against the smaller Fittipaldo. Good recognition by Withy. So Fernandez comes in. Radicevic goes out. Reyes gets it back. Augustine Ubal, who had that crazy three pointer in the first half. And Smith's pass batted out of bounds with 1.9 seconds on the shot clock. I might go so far as to say that Ubal three pointer is the craziest shot that's been hit this entire season. I mean, <laughs> it was the pass. 
ended up being a three-pointer. Good bounce pass that time to Smith. And this time the second effort doesn't do it as Fittipaldo comes away with it. And Smith will be mad that he missed that shot, but good enough defense just to affect the attempt. Fittipaldo, and not this time, and Sherman gets an offensive rebound. And, going back. and now Tenerife giving the foul taste to the room medicine. defense comes out, puts some pressure, not where you want to throw that one. Good anticipation. The steal. Sulemanovic. There he is turning, and Sulemanovic really playing well tonight against his former team. Look at that. Great anticipation, although the pass was telegraphed. And here he is being strong with the basketball, knowing the reach is coming from Joan Sastre. And Smith is going to sit down. So it's Ubal's show right now. And how about Sulemanovic? Don't forget about me, he says. Pitapaldo, don't leave him open. Bilbao, what do you think? And he drills another three. And Bruno Fittipaldo having himself a game tonight. Blue ball. Drives in and good help defense coming from behind by Sharon Medini, but a foul called on Fernandez. Ball. Measures 1.98 meters in height. I mean, that's good size for a point guard. It's 6'6. They haven't tried to post him up down low yet, but you wonder if that might be a possibility. Anderson comes in. Great work, Suleimana, but he goes out. And here's Ubal. So he went one of two from the line in the first half, makes this attempt. And former uh, point guard Javi Salgado over there on the bench as well as an assistant to Ponce now. So Ubal struggles a little bit from the free throw line tonight, just two of four. Steps into an open three. That didn't look very good, did it? Clanged it off the side of the rim. Remember, no Lude Hawkinson tonight. The point guard not able to play for Bilbao. Big absentee. Here's Fittipaldo off the side of the backboard and lands to Shermadini who wants an unsportsmanlike foul and he ends up getting a foul just on the bench, or sorry, on the floor. Watch this again. Yeah, I mean, he was definitely getting in the motion to shoot it, but he wasn't quite in it, and it was a good job of all 
Uh, I think maybe Sherman Dini took exception to how hard he was hit. Pass, good cut down the paint. Yeah. And this time Sherman Dini scores and gets the free throw to boot. My word, those guards for Tenerife. And the bigs. They just know they got to make their cuts and they're going to get the basketball. Wonderful play by Fittipaldo. Quite possibly the player of the game tonight. Shamardini with 15 points, six rebounds. Now 16 points. Fittipaldo, meanwhile, 14 points, three assists, two steals. And alarm bell is starting to ring over there on that Bilbao bench. This is a very dangerous time. Ooh ball goes out. Rabaceda is going to inbound the basketball to Smith. And this is when you really hope, I think, that Smith can really start to not try to do too much, but try to carry this team a little bit offensively. Alonzo well, missing. Struggling a little bit. Hasn't made a shot tonight. He's 0 for 5. To DePaldo. And quickly rebounding and running. Good job, Alonzo, deciding to hold it up in the end. Gets it back to Smith. Just over 13, 13 minutes remaining in the game. Rabaseda kind of lost his footing, but I think a foul has been called. I'm not sure if he tripped over and if he was tripped up. Kaiser hasn't seen him in the second half. He's coming in. That was a great cut by Rabaseda. He's going to his right, and then he cut back to his left. Doesn't get too much arc on that free throw, does he? Makes both of them, and it's a six-point deficit. Big possession here. Tenerife driving in. Fernandez, and he was fouled by Anderson. Oh, good job to reach in. See, with you over there talking to his coach, trying to offer an explanation about reaching in. Marcelino, you're back in the game, and it just is a, a rotation that is synonymous with uh, relentless. It's just. It's never, never let up from, from this Tenerife team. They are good. They're deep. So Fernandez goes out, and now Sasu Salim comes back into the game. And let's don't forget they're 14 and 5 in the Spanish League in Desa, top four. They are legit. Here's Smith driving in. And, well, that is a terrific catch. The right decision to come down with it, Kaiser. And to go back up with it. Six points for Kaiser. Torny Camp then left his feet, not knowing what he was going to do with the basketball. And turned it over. Tenerife outscoring Bilbao 16 to 14 in this quarter. So Bilbao hanging tough. 
Smith goes behind his back. Kaiser sets the pick and rolls. Now he catches it. You got Anderson open, but it's going to be Smith that's going to tickle the twine from three point range and make it a three point game. Nine points now. His first three of the game. 11 and a half minutes remaining. The all Spanish game of the week here in the round of 16 in the Basketball Champions League. Cook passes down low to Guerra. And he is pushed by Kaiser Anderson. So it is on Kaiser. Yeah, that was a Smith three pointer on the previous trip down the floor. Makes it and Tenerife is shooting well tonight. Eight of ten at the line. Anytime you're seventy percent or above, I think is acceptable. And gets a lot of rim there. It falls over and the lead goes back to five points. Smith. Double comes, they swing it. Brabaceta, Anderson, a full meter behind the arc. And they stay with it. Look at Kaiser. And they get it back. And Alonzo also stuck his nose in there to try to keep it alive with the ball goes out of bounds. And Smith just dribbling it off of his foot. Crashes down to the hardwood and is helped up by players from both teams. And if that was another collision with Smith, that's the second time those two guys are going to have a look at this. Yeah, they're going to look and see if this is an unsportsmanlike on Adam Smith. Well, they held up to number two. Let's see. Yeah, they're going to look and see if Adam Smith clotheslined him. And I think he might have. Is that a basketball play? Um, It's a very close call for the referees. I'm not sure what they're going to call on this. Definitely got him in the head. saying it's intentional or that it wasn't a basketball play uh, or maybe just a little too physical but he goes out on sportsmanlike foul five points the difference uh, Sasu Salim goes the line and gets it to drop so just his third point of the game and probably a good time for Adam Smith to sit down anyway at the end of the quarter. Radicevic checks into the game. 
Uh, but the problem is that Tenerife have gone back up by seven points. Uh, their biggest lead in the game has been eight. Rabal need to hunker down here. Almost getting the steal. Dorner Cap. Oh, that is Tenerife for you right there. Almost get the steal. They end up getting a three pointer. Anderson. Kaiser. And his pass goes out of bounds. time a player other than Bruno Fittipaldo has hit the three-pointer tonight for Tenerife. Marcelino hands it off. Saline. Yes, 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 yes. And boy, that is two yes, daggers yes, here yes, in the yes, third yes, quarter. Yes, it's go time. Four seconds left. Radicevic. And Anderson gets it over to his teammate, Ramaseda, misses. So a couple of blows there landed right at the end of the third quarter. Dornekamp hitting a three-pointer, and then Sasu Sali. The Susi Yingi. Seven points for Sasu Salim, and the lead for Tenerife has ballooned to 59 46 at the end of three. So two more threes now for Tenerife. Three more makes inside the arc, and they're also shooting well at the free throw line. plays of the third quarter. Meanwhile, Sharon Medini, 16 points, seven rebounds, Fittipaldo, 14 points, three assists, leading the way. Great job by Sulemanovic keeping his team in it in that third quarter. Uh, but that is a player right there, Fittipaldo. They just have not been able to slow down. He has been scoring. He's been dishing it down low to his big. Nine points for Smith leading the way. Eight points for Withy. Uh, but that was a devastating last devastating last uh, minute of that third quarter. You know, sportsman like foul, the free throws, and the two three-pointers, and suddenly it's a 13-point lead, and Sassu Sali just adds insult to injury and takes it up to a 16-point advantage. And for the teams that will be here this weekend, if they're already here watching, I'm not sure if they are, uh, they will be taking note that this Tenerife team, they could be facing a struggle, but they just stay with it. What a beautiful play, determined drive and finish by Radicevic. And he's got a three-point three, three point play opportunity. I mean, just a long time to go in this game. So you just got to keep plugging away for Bill Bow. Wonderful pass by Michael Kaiser. Free throws when you're down, they hurt. This team now 10 to 15 from the strike. Three point shot, and Saline can't get this one to drop. But look at the hustle from Dornicamp and then throws it to Cook, but over his head. 
was a lob. Three point attempt from Sulemanovic. This is a terrific performance from Amir Sulemanovic. Back to an 11 point lead. Sharon Medini catches and even guarded by the tall Kaiser just makes it look so easy. Eighteen for Sharon Medini. Belgian Cook almost stealing it from Rabaseda, and in fact he is. You don't often see Rabaseda lose a battle like that. And or at least get tied up. And he was going up against a very strong, determined cook. Probably say to meanwhile, I was looking over at the referee to say, please call the foul. Kaiser, long two, no good. You feel like Bilbao on the ropes right now, trailing by 13. Marcelino starting to weave his magic. Gets it to Sharon Medini. Good hands from Robin Seda to knock it away. Adam Smith avoids the D. Then they dump it over to Radicevic for three. Well, that was worth it. Good, good attempt from Kaiser. Radicevic just couldn't knock it down. Dump down low again to Sharon Medini. Yeah, this time he misses. Radicevic, where is he going to go with the basketball? Oh, beautiful pass again to get it to Kaiser. And the high riser strikes again. No Lude Hawkinson tonight, but Bavao giving it all they've got here at Tenerife. They get it again to Shermadini, fouled before the shot by Rodicevic. Fouls on Radicevic. Keep an eye on that one. Blue ball might have to come back in shortly. There is the baseline jumper. Cook going up for the rebound. He's going to go up. He's going to throw it down. The enforcer has come out to play in the fourth quarter. He definitely, definitely brings a, an element of toughness to this Tenerife team. Sulemanovic. And that last sequence has really damaged Bill Bow with Cook getting the offensive rebound and then dunking it. Now they've got another chance to extend the lead. Abramitis. Shermadini. Back to Abramitis. Radicevic. Good effort, Sulemanovic. Oh. And the referee is going to say apologies. We're going to go the other way. Portuguese referee. So Salim catches a break. That, I mean, that was just a big time sequence from Cook. We saw him earlier tie at Seda, much to Seda's furor. And now he comes down and does that. Little runner from Fittipaldo. 
Now the clock's starting to become the enemy here for Boval. They've got to get it going. they got to get some points. The drive and the basket is good. Radicevic playing with the four fouls. Remember, they, they play well when they limit the opponent to less than 80 points. And so far, Tenerife, well, they've got it to 66, but who knows? Could be in for a crazy finish here. Smith for three. It looks good. It is! And just like that, Bill Bow have shot themselves right back into it, but they had to play good defense. Smith takes his time, and with Fernandez looking from the floor, buries the three-pointer. He's got 12 points. Ataques hemos terminado con una buena situación, pero en estas situaciones que terminamos ahí, alguna tiene que ser rebote también de Fico. minutes here for Bubao. Can they play D again? They get it to the Sherbadini and he looks over at the ref and says, I should have had it in one, but at least they still get the dunk and Sherbadini just really going hard tonight. Ooh, read one with he and turns it over. Just got to stop and pop. And that is one of the many plays with Chairman Dini rolling to the basket where he gets it. Here's another one. And he gets blocked this time by Withy. It was a Sulemanovic that blocked him. One of them blocked him. I think it was, uh, I think it was Withy. Here it is again, Fernandez back to Shermadini. Sastre, and yet another weapon. They are loaded, folks. Sastre would be putting up a lot more threes if he got more minutes, and he might end up coming back and playing big minutes for this Tenerife team this season. Smith, meanwhile, keeps his team in it again. We keep saying it. They've got to get a stop and then go down and get some points. Easier said than done. Can they get a stop? Shot clock down to six. Fittipaldo. Oh, boy. Just relentless tonight. That man right there. Sensational. Fittipaldo. Just pouring in the points. Wheeling and dealing. You defend Skyme, Adam. Remember right, eh? Okay. You defend uh the the key is if you really different the avoiding the way of the blue, okay? They can't really the problem, but you have to avoid. And now this offense, please. And I'm on the third horse uh, 
Corsa y Ram. ¿Vale? Por favor, si digo un sistema, hacerlo. He dicho one down Ram y he sido, he sido one down Ram. ¿Vale? Ok, Corsa y Ram. Vale, Nico, vas a bloquear por 5. ¿Vale? Para Adam. Adam, eh, buen bloqueo, sube abajo. Eso. Venga, vamos, vamos. Well, we're going to see something special here from Bill Val. Who knows? I mean, it's the Basketball Champions League where great, crazy things happen tonight. I came from 20 points down to beat Limoges in Athens. This is Smith hitting a three-pointer, keeping his team in it. And then uh, Sastre, of all players. Well, he's a Spain international knocking down the three. Hapoel Jerusalem coming back and winning tonight right in the final five seconds at home in front of their crazy fans. I say that as a compliment. 81 to 80 over Strasbourg. And now the ball knocked away. Here comes Tenerife and Fernandez wisely holds it up. Knowing that the clock is the enemy for Bilbao. Down low. How did they? They still get it to Sharon Medini, and he travels. But look at that. They they gave up almost more than 19 seconds, in fact, off the shot clock. Sulemanovic backing his way down low and Abramidis fouls. Sulemanovic again. Here's Withy. So with 2.20 remaining, Tenerife looking as if they are closing in on victory. Let's go to 3-0 and the drop. Bill Bow in group I to 1-2. Here is the drive. Fernandez. And the ball does not bank in. They chase it down. Radicevic, they need to get a shot up. Clock is the enemy. Radicevic turns. Good work from Withy getting in, and he is fouled on the putback. Yeah, he was hit by, definitely by Shermadini. It's been tough offensively for this Bill Bow team tonight. So with you with 10 points, makes the two free throws, goes out. Kaiser comes back in. Marcelino comes back in. is something to envy for Tenerife to have so many options. So again, cognizant of the fact that if they could just take time off the clock, that's going to be a victory in and of itself. There's Sharon Medini, and then that's the icing on the cake to get the points right at the end of the shot clock. And Shermadini just puts an exclamation mark on his performance. Look at this. Well, he got the mismatch and goes to 22 points. Engine, 
yourself a chance even if it looks bleak it's not over till the fat lady sings although you might just be hearing somebody uh, dusting off the vocal cords Tag comes into the game for the first time tonight cook is in Moose is down there guarding Kaiser. And going for the block there, but Smith quickly scores. Anderson also back in, as well as Ubal. Sudomanovic and Reyes go out. So with 112 remaining, let's see if uh, Tenerife can get to that 80 plus mark. Fidipaldo. Oh, boy. He has had himself a game. Let's have a shooting contest between that man, Fittipaldo, and Salim. Those two guys can flat out shoot it. Smith, high arcing three, not there. And the basketball goes out to Reyes. And uh, Musa called for the foul, number four. So they'll put 14 seconds on the shot clock. Well, it looks like Tenerife might settle for 78 points tonight. They might not go down, although they might. You never know. There's the drive, and Kaiser pump fake goes up. In view of goal difference, you don't know. They might go down and score, but Bill Bow have held them under 80 points. turned over and a three-point shot doesn't drop Reyes, well, I think Bavala in many respects came out and did some good things tonight but you know just need that little bit extra just didn't have no score tonight Lenovo Tenerife behind Bruno Fittipaldo and Jordi Sharmadini win it 78 to 66. Three more three-pointers for Tenerife. Two more makes inside the arc. And Bilbao in the end, one more free throw. Bilbao ended up winning the rebounding battle. Had three more steals in Tenerife, but Tenerife with an excellent ball movement. You can see uh, Sulemanovic and Chus Vitoretta and everybody hugging Sulemanovic as he comes back to play for the club that he helped win the title last season. And uh, I don't think Bilbao needs to be hanging their head after that performance. They played hard tonight on the game of the week. And we just watched probably the favorites in this competition uh, get a win uh, against their Spanish opponents. But just a really a hard, good, tough game tonight by both teams. And uh, the fans warm up for the FIBA Intercontinental Cup this weekend in U.S. Monastir. And perhaps Sao Paulo in the final. You don't know if they can beat U.S. Monastir, play Sao Paulo, or perhaps Rio Adam, Grande Valley. You really fought the whole game from Here's start Adam Smith. to finish, but that wasn't enough. What made the difference tonight? Um, well, you know, they're the defending champs. So if you don't play for 40 minutes, uh, 
you know, they'll win by a lot of points. We have some injuries here and there. Uh, we're trying to find our rhythm once again. But like you said, we competed for 40 minutes, and you know, that, that's kind of a win for us right now. Thank you. Good luck for the second part of the round of 16. Well, I think Adam Smith said it right, you know, that that and they were a little bit shorthanded, but they played hard. And at the end of the day, they played the defending champions. Let's go down and Georgi, we just saw you loving the big, with your teammates the celebrating with the fans. How good does it feel to get that one? Amazing. Really feels amazing. You know, uh, it was a very good game, you know, very, very tough game. We start. I think we start very soft. Personally, me, I start very soft. I need some layoffs, but uh, all these 40 minutes was fight, you know, defense, offense. Even one ball was the key, you know, especially this uh, this uh, top 16. It's uh, every game is important, you know. Every game is important, and uh, today we are happy we play at home. We want this amazing game with our fans, and uh, you know, congrats for my teammates, coaches. You know, great one more victory. You talk about that slow start. You were important in that second half, especially in the third quarter. What changed for you? What was that your mindset? Yes. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I push myself. I push myself to. <laughs> I took myself this important game, you know, for us, for future. And I think we, I did also good. I helped the team. You have the chance to win your first trophy of the season this week here with the FIBA Intercontinental Cup. How important is it for you guys? For sure, this is very important. Also, uh, we won this cup like three years ago, and now we have this uh, uh, this weekend to we have chance to win again. Okay, we are play at home, and Tenerife here is good for us also. And if we win, that will be great. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well, the game of the week tonight, Lenovo Tenerife, one of the powerhouses of uh, Spanish basketball win, all Spanish showdown uh, against Bilbao. The round of 16, go to 3 and 0, and Bilbao dropped to 1 and 2. They still got their chances, Bilbao. I mean, they, they'll know that uh, they're still in it. And, you know, if they come out and they play like they did tonight, they play hard, they will have their chances uh, to get a top two spot and to advance to the quarterfinals. So uh, I would definitely not write off this Bilbao team. I think their coach does a great job and they might have some limitations uh, offensively. But if they play smart and hard, uh, they do have talent on offense, uh, but it feels like if they can get it going defensively and all the hustle and the offensive rebounds, they've got a chance. But tonight they just came up against a better team. And once uh, the game got late and some of those threes started falling for Tenerife, it was always going to be a difficult task. Uh, but full marks to Amir Sulemanovic hitting that three pointer against his former team and uh, really having a good game tonight. Uh, Bilbao just not enough here in the Santiago Martin Arena, also known as La Ambarguesa. So, Elgin Cook, that was, I think that might have just been the crowning blow there, getting the offensive rebound and the dunk. Uh, Sulemanovic, uh, give him a lot of credit though, seven points, six rebounds, four assists, two steals. That is a workmanlike effort. He had 15 plus efficiency as well as Adam Smith with the 16 points. Kaiser with the 10 points and the five rebounds. Radicevic played well, especially in the first half. And Rabaceda always plays hard. Uh, but this Bruno Fittipaldo and Jorgi Shermadini led effort from Tenerife was just too much tonight to handle uh, for Bilbao. So again, as we look at the standing, uh, the stands right the group L. You've got Tenerife, six points. You got Bobao, four points. 
and Ukam Murthia and Darashafika Lassa at 101 and 0 and 2. Of course, their game this week has been canceled because of the tragic events in Turkey, uh, which was struck by an earthquake. So, Babal came here hoping for an upset. And Lenovo Tenerife came here looking to take another step towards the quarterfinals during their title defense. And in the end, uh, even though uh, a little bit of good fortune there from Uval, it was Lenovo Tenerife winning it uh, behind the likes of Sharmadini and Fittipaldo with 19 points. Sharmadini with 22, 78 to 66. Lenovo Tenerife looking as good as ever in the Basketball Champions League.